we can identify from the image that this is a metallic bracket which is used in fixed appliances okay now it's a component of a fixed appliance now fixed appliances has two types of components passive components and active components okay passive components are components which help to attach the appliance onto the teeth like uh, bands brackets uh, molar tubes okay or buckle tubes so they don't exert any force on their own they only help to attach the uh, appliance onto the teeth whereas active appliances they are the ones that actually bring about force or tooth movement okay now they are in the form of arch wires coil springs or elastomerics okay like e chain okay so here we have been asked to identify the use of this appliance okay so from the options we can clearly identify that this is an auxiliary force delivery uh, unit because auxiliary means something that supports or something that aids or helps in uh, a function so here auxiliary force delivery means it's helping in the force delivery because brackets you can uh, try to visualize brackets as holders okay so they are basically holding the arch wire in place so that the arch wire can exert uh, the uh, force or the bring about tooth movement so they are auxiliary force delivery units now from this topic of brackets a wide variety of questions can be asked in the examination so here they have asked you use they can also ask you to identify different types of bracket now this is very frequently asked so if you see here this is a completely different type of bracket you can see there is a edge present on the slot okay and uh, what you see is like a triangular wedge has been removed from the slot of the bracket so these are actually tip edge brackets okay so they can give you a bracket and ask you to identify it and also identify the system that is used so tip edge is a different system in itself okay another kind of question that they are asking uh, very frequently nowadays is uh, on self ligating brackets so they ask you to identify a self ligating bracket they ask you to identify either the name like demon brackets speed brackets or they can ask you the mechanism of working of the self ligating brackets so self ligating brackets basically are of three types okay something known as active self ligating passive self ligating and uh, interactive okay active self ligating brackets are those that have this spring or clip mechanism okay which uh, engages or which is uh, coming into the slot so if you see the slot extends till here okay so this clip is actually coming into the slot of the uh, wire uh, i'm sorry of the bracket so when the wire is held in place this spring will actually engage the wire or impinge on the wire bringing about so this kind of uh, bracket is known as an active bracket because it because it engages the wire into the slot like it impinges or pushes it okay passive on the other hand is completely passive meaning the wire is in the slot okay this is the slot it's away for uh, this is the slot which is going to close the bracket and it is kept away from the wire so the wire is here this is here this is the slot okay so this sliding mechanism which is present is away from the slot of the bracket so it is not going to touch the wire in any way such kind of brackets are passive brackets so demon brackets are passive speed brackets are active okay because they impinge on the wire now there is a third type that is interactive so these are different how it is those kind of brackets where there is a spring mechanism but when the wire is of a lower dimension like when it is a round wire thin wire the mechanism does not impinge on it okay only when the wire is of a particular size like a rectangular wire then the spring clip uh, impinges on it so this these kind of brackets are known as interactive brackets another kind of question that they could ask you which is which looks easy but is actually slightly confusing is the dimensions of the slot okay so now we know that usually either in o2 or an o18 uh, slot is used okay many clinicians prefer to use the o22 because mbt system is given in the o22 okay so here they can ask you what is the height or what is the width of the bracket now these might seem easy but you need to identify the height and width so the height is actually the o22 dimension and the width or the depth is actually the o28 dimension okay so this again is important they could ask you this 
uh, another type of question they could ask you is to identify the system that is being used based on the bracket. So here we can see that these are these brackets have these vertical slots. Okay, so these are this is the beg system because we know the beg system or the ribbon arch appliance uses the brackets in the vertical slot. Okay, now this this is a characteristic standard edgewise appliance which was given initially by angle. So if you can see, this does not have any of the characteristics seen in a contemporary bracket like a slot or uh, I'm sorry, like the tie wings, etc. It doesn't have, it only has a slot which is plain. Okay, and the wire is held here and these eyelets are given to hold it. So this is a standard edgewise, okay, which was originally given by angle. Another type of question that they could ask you is based on the materials. So we know that brackets are made up of different types of materials, stainless steel, nickel free, titanium brackets. They can ask you about polycarbonate or ceramic brackets. Okay. So then the property of these materials can also be important such as they have asked a question in the previous exam about the critical surface tension. Of these uh, materials so then again materials is also an important topic to read from this uh, for such questions